Hello, YouTube. This is Thomas, a.k.a. Lions Den, with, with the Black Carnival Cruise Lovers for Wednesday, December 20th. Now, we're talking about another man jump off a, a MSC cruise, and it's according to cruisenews.net. It says the cruise line confirmed that it was intentionally done while local authorities concluded there was no reason to suspect foul play. The 40-year-old man was reported missing from MSC Armania at around 9 a.m. last Wednesday. Now, it says, according to Business Insiders, MSC crews that confirmed a passenger intentionally jumped overboard, the ship proceeding to Recife, Brazil, as scheduled, where local authorities found no susp suspicious circumstances and there was no case to be pursued. Few details are all known of the man who jumped. All we know at this point, he was a North American tourist traveling with his partner. Now, the man companion was briefly questioned, but later released and cleared to travel, although he opted to fly home rather than continue with the sailing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 15th incident that happened when it comes to man or woman overboard in 2023. Now, they said the last man that jumped the MSC cruise, um, uh, is this, it said that last month an MSC, cruise, MSC crew member fell overboard while M the MSC seascape was off the coast of Puerto Rico. The, the Indiana National was never found, and the search was called out two days after he was he went overboard. A professor named Ross Klein in Halifax is keeping a record of all people who jump overboard. So that's the end of this article. Ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of concerning because you got incidents that happen you know, all, all of this year. When the man and the woman drop drop overboard, whether it's intentionally or accidentally, it happens on mostly cruise ships. And MSC ain't the only one. You got Carnival did the same. Carnival incident happened in Carnival. The incident happened in um the or the Royal Caribbean as well as the the, re, the region. So any other incident that happened that you know when a person jump off you know off a cruise ship. The entering waters, forget about it. You would never see that person ever again. And you can take two to five days to do a research. I mean, trying to find the search of that person. But, I mean, it's going to, I'm going to tell you, like, if you can't find that person, that means they're long gone once, you, once the, it hits the waters. So let me know what you think about this incident. I mean, I don't know if any cruise industry need to come together or try to see if they can create some sort of, I don't know, some sort of thing so they so people can just so they won't jump off. They need they need to be they need to have a conversation or they need to have a meeting to talk about what can we do in the future so they prevent anybody from jumping off these cruise ships. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll talk to you in the next video. This is Thomas for Cruise News, and I'll talk to you later. Deuces.